Hey everyone, and welcome to Ubuntu Last Videos. In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a more thorough, um, basically, introduction to the panel. I know we've, I mean, I've already introduced it and I showed you what it is, but let me show you how to customize it, do a few tricks with it, and so on. So, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, basically, this is the panel. It used to the, when you first install Ubuntu, it has two panels, one on the top and one on the bottom. I removed it and put this application in its place. And I'll show you a little bit about playing around with panels. Basically, you have a few things. When you right-click on the panel, you have a few options. You have the Add to Panel, Properties, New Panel, Help, and About Panels. These two just kind of serve as references for help or if you want to learn about the panel application. But from the very top, this basically gives you the ability to add notes or add applications to your panel but not normal applications if you like shortcuts if you will uh, basically you can adjust brightness you, you can't see this because it's you know the computer itself but I'm sh I assure you that this is changing the brightness um, you can add a clock which you already have here uh, by the way when you right click on one of these little icons you just remove from panel and that's how you take it off uh, you can have a dictionary you can have drawers that pop out and store more stuff Basically, um, I have one already set. This is a little application that I have, and I'll show you how to do it again. Uh, oops, wrong thing. Basically, when you click on something on one of these applications, right-click and do Add Launcher to Panel, then drag, drag that on top of the icon, and it's going to store in a little uh, drawer, basically. And you can store a few applications here for quick access. Well, click eyes. You can have like eyes, pretty much, you know, staring at your mouse wherever it goes. It's a little entertaining, and you can change the eyes to different ones. A little fish that gives you quotes and swims around on the bar. A little force quit application, which I do like a lot. Uh, with this application, if something doesn't work, uh, basically, let me show you. If I have some calculator or some application, I won't show you if it doesn't work because it always works but if something happens and the window grows gray and you can't X out with this button you simply click on this icon click on the window and force quit and that's how you would basically uh, kill the application <clears throat> or end task as you would refer to it in uh, Windows and Windows XP and such you have to cr uh, press control alt delete and then go into the menu find the application and then delete it well in Ubuntu it's simply two clicks away uh, a few other things we have, uh, let's see, t -t -t, we have investing stuff so you can keep track of your investments. Uh, different styles of menu. This is the main menu and this is the menu bar. Here I'll show you the difference. I'll move this to the side so you can kind of see the, uh, where it's, there we go. These are the two different. This is the main menu, this is the menu bar. Uh, basically the main menu, you open it up, you have the applications easy to access like usual we have the Ubuntu Software Center and then underneath we have the places and system and the menu bar application places and system are all separate menus just like so uh, so depending on what you like this is longer if you want to go to places and places like that but this is a lot shorter if you want to you know have quick access to everything so that's the difference between them there's that's basically it just different styles you can use for menus Network monitor, notification area. This is basically the little email, um, that little mail icon here that uh, can send and receive messages and so on. Uh, Palm Pilot organizer, or synchronizer. Uh, you can run applications through here. Search for files with this one. Separator, show your desktop. Uh, basically, close all the windows on the click on this icon. It'll look like that. Just click on it and it'll show all your windows. Shut down, sticky notes. I like the sticky notes. Uh, because I love keeping my desktop you know, with little notes here and there to remind me of stuff. Uh, basically, double click, new note pops up, and you can basically write whatever you want. <clears throat> right click on uh, the actual pad application, uh, preferences, and you can change the look of it. It's very simple, very intuitive. You can change the fonts and everything. So if you have a cool font, you can go ahead and change it to that. I don't know what I'm going to pick. I'm just going to pick that. That's pretty cool. Uh, basically that's it and then when you click on a desktop anywhere on the desktop it goes away and then you simply click once on this and it comes back all your notes come back so I'll show you if I do this they'll go away and I do it again and here they are back again that's how that works and you can X out to delete them and so on system monitor basically a shortcut to the system monitor application 
Also, it gives you a little icon for processing use. And if you go to preferences, you can also do memory, network, swap space, load, and hard disk if you're a hardware junkie. So you want to know what everything on your computer is doing. That's how you do it. Uh, everything is a bit messed up. All right, I just had a few icons uh, screwed up, but I fixed it. All right, back to our panel. That's a panel. And of course, you have a lot of applications. You have uh, the little notification, the window switcher, window list, being able to switch between the windows open. You know, just like the regular window uh, switcher that you usually have. There you go, switch between different windows. That's how you do that. And basically, play around. You have a lot of little things to play around with. And that's it for, you know, uh, the adding stuff to it. Let's go ahead and mess around with it. Of course, preferences. We go into preferences and we have a few editing. You can change the size of your panel, make it really big, make it really small. Well, that's pretty small. You can change the size or side that it goes to. You go on the bottom, the left, the right. I like it on the top. Thank you very much. Uh, you can do auto hide. So when it's not being used, it'll basically just go out of, out of your way and then just pop to the very top to get it out again. Uh, you can show uh, uh, show hide buttons. Basically in the very end now you see these two buttons you can basically you can click on them to hide your panel. Uh, you can take the arrows out as well if you just want regular looking you know buttons and that's how you would hide it and call it back when you need it. Backgrounds, you can change the background, you can keep a system background, you can do a solid color, and with the solid color you can change the opacity so you can maybe show a background or just have a transparency with the background. I use the normal. And you can actually set a background image as your panel icon. Uh, I don't have an actual panel icon, but that's kind of gives you an idea of what it does. And so on. Of course, the next piece is just adding a bunch of panels. A new panel shows up with a new panel in the bottom. Another new panel gives us on the right, and another new panel gives us on the right. Left, sorry. And from here, you can basically customize the exact same way. Just click, add to panel, add whatever you want. Uh, maybe make it auto hide. Uh, maybe make this panel for applications, that one for something else. And I'll actually show you a little trick. Uh, let's see, I'll delete this panel and. Come on. Delete this panel. And I'm going to go ahead and go in properties of this one. I'll make it not expand. When it's not expanded, it's like a little bar. And I'm going to put this to the top. Let's do top. And now I can move this bar anywhere I want. The thing is, it's going to be on the very top. So whatever application I have open, this bar is going to be on the very top of the application. It's not going to take up a lot of space depending on what you want. See, if I go like this with application and mess around, it's there. So this gives us two things. It can be very annoying or it can be very useful. Because if we set it with the right buttons, it can actually help us out a lot. Like let's say window managing buttons. So it's always in the very top and you can manage your windows. Like let's say show desktop or switching applications and so on and so forth. What I do the most with this is actually I put it to the very side. I enable the uh, buttons to show hide buttons <clears throat> and I take off the arrows. I don't like the arrows. Well, you didn't have to do that actually, but I'll go ahead and show you from here. And basically, add whatever you want there. I'll uh, just drag and drop. You know, it's just applications, whatever you want you can put there. And um, I like having a big panel, so I'm going to right click properties. I like big icons, especially with that. And there we are, we have like a little panel launcher on the side. We can click that to hide it, click that to open it, click the application we want, so and so. And of course you can actually set this to auto hide so it does it for you. And when it's, you're using something else, it should go away. It should, but it doesn't look like it's going away. Oh, because it has to be in the very top. If it's like this, then it goes away. Alright, that's kind of dumb. Never mind, you have to use the uh, show hide buttons method. But basically, you can use this to hide, take it out, use the application you want, put it back in, or you can use it as a floating bar for something. That's basically what I would use those panels for. So they're very customizable to what you want to do with them. And that's basically it. That's how you add, delete, uh, you know, customize your panels. So they can be very simple or very, you know, uh, complicated. And you can have a lot of stuff in it and you can organize it the way you want. So that's the point of Ubuntu is to make it organized and make it the way you want. 
So thank you for watching Ubuntu Last Videos. I hope this was informative to you, and I'll be making more videos. I hope you watch them. Bye.